Hey guys and welcome to Randazzo Mods. In today's video we are going to be prepping my back seats for Dupacolor vinyl dye. So for step one, obviously you got to give it a nice good cleaning. So I grabbed some APC, which is just uh, purple power diluted, and I gave it a nice wash, give it a good thorough soak, and then at the same time I'm hitting it with a brown Scotty, getting into all the nooks and crannies because a lot of dirt goes in between those wedges. Uh, so I ended up just giving it some good old elbow grease. So like I said, as I covered it with the all-purpose cleaner and went and used a brown Scotty and just hit all the crevices, give it a nice good thorough cleaning because uh, you really want that seat to be nice, clean, uh, dry obviously. Um, I ended up just wiping it down with a orange towel and it worked fantastic like the seat felt very like um uh, ready for paint <laughs> um yeah on to the next step And the next step would be my seats, the actual seats where you sit down on. I uh, ended up just repeating what I did to the back cushion, hit it with some APC. Now I hit these a little harder because obviously you're sitting on them, but it's a lot dirtier, I guess, in other words. Um, I don't know how many parts are on those things. Spray down with some APC, hit it with a, a brown Scotty, give it a good thorough cleaning, and just hit it with an orange pad and my camera paws. Nice job, Joey. When I uh, flipped the cushion over, I noticed that there was a little bit of rust on the rails, uh, so I went ahead and used a wire wheel. As you can see any moment now, where are you? There I am. Hit it with a wire wheel and just give it a give it a light cleaning and I, I wasn't going too crazy with this um light cleaning just took all of the the surface rust off so when i did spray i just put a little bit of spray like nothing fancy it was just like tss, tss, and voila that's as far as i went with that Alright, now I'm getting to the fun stuff. So right here I'm using uh, VHT vinyl dye. Uh, it's stuff is intended for pleather, vinyl, um, rubber I think. Doing a little research, just wanted something, just a, you know, not going for a tuner look, give it like an original look. Uh, I ended up stumbling, stumbling across this uh, Dupacolor VHT stuff. Worked wonders, big fan of the stuff. 
Uh, trick is do not guess gloss black because it will look too tacky so I ended up going with flat black to give it a more original adult look I guess is what I'm trying to say where the piece actually looks original uh, so I'm giving it a first a tack coat is what I call it give it a mist let it adhere to the vinyl uh, you'll see me in the video looks like I'm I'm hitting it one after the other uh, but that's not the case I'm letting it dry for like 10 15 minutes apart uh, stuff dries really fast too by the way great great product Till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. And I know we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, to my shadow. Through the sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands through the highways.
Just so much love to say. Wanna get to know you in every kind of way. But you speak it in tongues. You take the breath from my lungs. It should be shaking in fear, but instead I just want you here. Screaming at you, but it's like screaming at uh, for my trim pieces, I ended up just using a semi-gloss black. Uh, the reason why I wanted gloss, a little bit of gloss, was it's easier for me to clean it and the, the semi-gloss helps protect it. Uh, came out great too. Good product.